fire is so extreme, so intense that it's actually changing the weather. We begin at 5 o'clock with the ever-growing and raging bootleg fire in southern Oregon. Now at 241,000 acres in spots, firefighters are even being forced to retreat from the battle. And this fire isn't just bringing flames, but lightning too. As it's grown so powerful, it's creating its own weather. Maggie Vespa has the latest. As America's largest wildfire rages, all the crews and equipment, they're pulling off the line. Firefighters overnight retreat. The north flank of the bootleg fire blew up. Portions of the front lines are just too dangerous. Infrared video shows the power of the bootleg fire burning in southern Oregon, northeast of Klamath Falls. It grew again overnight. As of Friday, it's at more than 241,000 acres with 7% contained. It's already burned 75 buildings, many of them homes. Now bootleg is exhibiting extreme fire behavior. What does that mean? Oregon uh, Department of Forestry spokesman Marcus Kaufman. Extreme fire behavior is a, like a, a combination of circumstances that you just don't see every day. Things like crowning when the fire consumes a whole tree and gets up into the crown of the tree. Another extreme sign, this pyrocumulus cloud created by the bootleg fire. The fire is so extreme, so intense that it's actually changing the weather. It's changing the direction of the winds. It's creating its own clouds. It's creating lightning. Lightning oh, is the last thing uh, evacuees so want to hear line. about. The trees were exploding. There was little tornado, fire tornadoes going up. Thursday, and Tim so, McCarley uh, told us the fire had destroyed most of his family's possessions packed in trailers. His house near Bly, which was under construction, survived. Friday, Red Cross volunteers so, uh, say the McCarleys and other forward. families have now been allowed to return home and literally sift through the ashes. So these are the what the sifters look like. It's just a box that has uh, chicken wire attached to it so they can sit, literally sift through the ashes to find if they can find jewelry or if they can find keys. Despite the devastation, evacuation orders lifting in some areas is a sign of progress and more crews are arriving from out of state to help. The state fire marshal tweeting photos of reinforcements from Washington and California. They'll battle brutally dry conditions fueled by record drought and last month's historic heat wave, which killed more than 100 Oregonians. Obviously, the West is the canary in the coal mine in terms of climate. Governor Kate and Brown on MSNBC Thursday. Climate change is happening. Our people are dying. We must take action, and politics cannot get in the way. So Marcus Kaufman, who you saw in that piece, noted what's so bizarre about this fire's extreme behavior is that it's been exhibiting that behavior for days on end. And that's something that crews really haven't seen before with past fires. So day after day, it's just exhausting them. And that's why we were so glad to see this tweet today from AccuWeather. Proby, the therapy dog, traveled to southern Oregon to keep firefighters' spirits up amid this grueling fight. Dan? Yeah, they'll certainly need it. Thank you, Maggie.